Hey guys, your host is Denitra, and I had a request to show you guys how I make my tags. And I'm just going to show you what I use, um, the method that I use, and, you know, just different things that I like to use in my tags, which is basically a lot of stuff. Um, so here I've just got this tag here, and um, I've got some distress inks. Um, I've got this, um, the inking tool. I've also got some chalk. Um, cotton ball for the chalk. Um, this is the stamp that I'm going to use today, the Asian Artistry Stamp Set from Stampin' Up. It's a level two hostess stamp set. And um, I have to say, it's one of my favorites right now. So I've been using it a lot. I've got blender pen for some watercoloring, a versa marker. Um, I just kind of throw in lots of stuff. And I might even use some glimmer mist in the process. So right now, I'm just going to put some the felt piece on my inking tool. Let me get this here. Um, what I'm working on isn't a craft mat because I don't have one. Um, if you need something budget friendly, which I think a lot of us are, um, this is just some acetate from a Cricut mat. It was from my 12 by 24 mat. I save all of them because I often use them on my Cricut, I use them for to make my own mask. So um, I thought that would be perfect to keep and use for inking. Um, so I'm going to use um, Vintage Photo, and I'm going to stamp my stamp first. And this is Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Hope I'm staying in the camera's view. I've got a different angle today. Um, y last night I tried to do it. Um, working around the tripod and um, it just didn't work for me with because there's so much stuff to grab and get so um, I'm just I just decided to um, use this um, this angle here so I'm just gonna try to position it wherever it's gotta stamp it's all right if it stamps off the page you know sometimes you don't want the whole image anyway sometimes I've um, cut off the bottom half or some of the leaves and so, um, this alone is already beautiful because the stamp is gorgeous. So, let's put this up here. And, um, first I'm going to do some chalking. And, um, I've got a cotton ball here. And I'm just going to pick up some of the chalk. You can see. And just to, like with the inking tool, you start off of the tag. I'm going to do that too. Um, with the chalk. This gives nice, nice definition to the edges. Um, I'm not going all the way. I'm not going all the way on the tag. I just want the edges. Hope I can do this in one video. It usually takes me a while to do my tags because I use so many different elements. So there's that color, and um, I was going to use this color, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get some um, vintage photo um, on there, and um, I like to get right on the ink pad. Sometimes I will take my ink pad and put it right there and kind of create a palette, um, but today I'm just going gonna to do it like this. And again, I'm going to start off, okay, and work on just... So, because I still want some of that orange color to show through. So I'm just going to do a little bit. So um, this is a good way to get your chalks out and start using those once again because I haven't gotten mine out in a little while. So, so there's some um, part of my tag already and it's already perfect like that. Um, now I'm going to take my darling stamp and stamp um, up in the corner there and I'm using walnut stain um, because it's darker and whatever out you put on top you know you don't want it to cover up your journal lines so you might want to go a shade darker now I'm no expert as you all know I just did a haul video on my um, distressing inks so obviously I have haven't that much practice with it but this is just what, what I like to do. 
um, when I'm doing it. So there's our journaling lines, our image, and I'm going to watercolor this. I've got some rose red ink from Stampin' Up. And um, this blender, this is a new blender pen, but my old blender pen, when the solution ran out, I took the tip out of it. You can use some tweezers. Take the tip out of it, get like a medicine dropper, and just kind of put a drop of water on the top, and it'll bubble. Uh, you'll just have like a drop of water on top, but then it'll all, it'll sink down. And so I just kept doing that and kept doing that, and this um, blender pen is usable again. So um, don't throw them away, even though you've got three in a pack. So um, I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to pick up some of the rose red ink, and I'm I'm just I don't watercolor in any type of technique. I just kind of grab it and rub it on there. Um, I do like to keep some parts darker than others, and that's either at the bottom or sometimes all the way around the edge. If it's like if it's a circle, the dark the outside would be darker than the inside. That's how I like to do it. Um, this isn't stays on ink. It isn't waterproof. But um, when you're distressing, you kind of want most of your colors to blend together anyway. So you might want to try stamping in a um, none in an ink that might not be waterproof, and then see how your colors will blend together. Okay, so that's the rose red. Love that color from Stampin' Up! And then I've got Old Olive here, which is another one of my fave colors. And I'm just going to turn it around and pick up some of the ink. I'm just going to do the leaves. And I'm not doing these in any, any perfect way. I'm, as you can see, I'm just kind of scribbling. And because this ink that I use isn't um, waterproof, um, you can see a little bit where the ink has bled on to the leaves and mixed in with the old olive and just kind of made it darker, more vintage looking. I like that. So here's our tag so far. Um, another thing that I like to do is add... Um, iridescent ice from Stampin' Up. I love this stuff. It's it's perfect. Um, you could also use glitter, distress stickles, um, anything of that sort. Um, so let me try to tap that down. I've got a bursa marker here. I love it. I'm gonna use the brush tip, and um, I I usually use it on my leaves. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just I'm just dabbing. I'm not really brushing. And um, if you guys don't know, this Versa marker is refillable also. So, um, lots of mileage out of these tools here. So I'm just going to use some iridescent ice, sprinkle my leaves. So, so pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, knock some of that off. And it's just a little shimmer. I mean... It's subtle, but it, it's pretty. And I'm, I'm going to do some glimmer mist on top of that, too. Just blink it up. Use whatever you have. Uh, like I said, as you can see, I've used chalk, ink, um, distress inks, blender pens. So I'm just going to heat set this really quick. See, I hope you can see the shimmer just a little bit. Okay. Um, now I'm going to grab some um, Glimmer Mist. And I'm going to use the Lemon Meringue. That's my favorite color at the moment. 